A very good morning to all. In the last class, we started with the second chapter, that is parts of a plant. And we learned about the different kinds of plants. And then we learned about parts of a plant. So which are the different parts of a plant? Root, stem, leaves, flower, fruit, and seed are the different parts of a plant. And we started with the first two part, which are the first two part, the root and the stem. And we discussed its function. What is the main function of the root? It holds the plant firmly to the soil and it gets water and minerals from the soil. And what is the main function of the stem? It erects the plant and it carries water and food to all parts of the plant. And today we are going to see the next part of the plant. You know which part is that? It is the leaves. So the next part of the plant is the leaves. When you look around, you can see different kinds of plants. And most plants have leaves. And most plants have leaves with green color. Let me ask you, why these leaves look green in color? Have you ever thought why these leaves look green in color? This is because there is a green substance which is present in the leaves, which is known as chlorophyll. What it is? It is known as chlorophyll, which is present in the leaves, which appear the leaves to be green. The green substance called the chlorophyll. Then let me ask you, are all leaves look the same? If you look around the trees which is around you and see the leaves, are all the leaves look the same? No, right? So leaves may differ based on its shape and size. And even you can identify a plant based on its leaf. Here you can see the picture of three different types of leaves. First one, the leaf of a papaya, leaf of a lotus and the leaf of a banana. If you observe it carefully, are they all looking the same? No, they differ in their shape and size. So now let's see about the parts of a leaf. So there are different parts in a leaf. So well, let's learn about the different parts of a leaf. So the first part, this part, the flat, broad surface of a leaf is called as the lamina. This part is called as the lamina. The flat, broad surface of a leaf is called as the lamina or the leaf blade. And this part is the main part of a leaf. So why do we call it as the main part? Because all important functions are carried out on this surface. So you may think, what are the important functions? Functions like photosynthesis, exchange of gases, all these, all these functions are carried on on this surface. So do you know what is a photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is a process of making food by using water and carbon dioxide in the presence of sunlight. We call it as photosynthesis. And this lamina, this part is the main part of a leaf. So why do we call it as the main part? Because important functions like the photosynthesis and exchange of gases are carried on on this surface. So that is about the first part of the plant, lamina or leaf blade. So the next one you can see the outline of the leaf. So do you know what we call for the outline of a leaf? This outline of a leaf is called as the margin. So margin is called as the outline of the leaf. Then here you can see the tip. The topmost point of a leaf is called as tip. And if you closely observe, you can see a center vein here. Okay, this one is the center vein. This center vein is the main vein of a leaf. And this main vein is called as midrib. What it is? It is called as midrib. The main vein in the center is called as the midrib. And if you closely observe, you can see from the midrib, it is again divided. It, is a, it has a connection of different veins. So these are the different veins. And these different veins are called as leaf veins. What it is? It is called as leaf veins. 
These leaf veins are tiny tubes which carry food and water. And again you can see these leaf veins are again divided into smaller veinlets. So these are the smaller veinlets. So the leaf veins are again divided into smaller veinlets. And these leaf veins give shape and support to the leaf. So these are the different parts of a leaf. So the first part is the lamina. The flat broad surface of a leaf is called as the lamina. And the outline of the leaf is called as the margin. And the tip, the topmost point of a leaf is called as the tip. And the center vein, center vein is the main vein of a leaf. That center vein is, is and the center vein is called as the mid rib. And from the mid rib, you can see a connection of veins which carry water and food. Again, these veins are divided into smaller veinlets. So these are the different parts of a leaf. Have you seen the leaf of a grass? In grass, in the leaf of a grass, there is no midrib. What is midrib? Midrib means the vein, main vein. There is no midrib. But they have leaf veins which is arranged as straight lines. You can see the example here. They have leaf veins arranged as arranged in a straight line. So what you can do is today you can take a leaf and observe, observe carefully the different parts of the leaf. So you can find, you can identify the midrib, the leaf vein, and you can identify the different parts of a leaf. Now coming to the next topic that is stomata. Have you heard about the word stomata? What is stomata? Stomata are tiny pores which are present on the surface of the leaf is stomata. So can we see a stomata? We cannot see the stomata through our naked eyes. We can see only through a microscope. So what is stomata? The tiny pores which is present on the surface of the leaf is called as stomata. Then why do plants have stomata? Do you know why do plants have stomata? We all know that plants need air, water and food to live. Why? Because plants are living things. And the air enters the plant through this tiny pores called stomata. So how do the air enters? The air enters the plant through the pores which is called as stomata. Now let's see what leaves do for the plant. So while starting the class, when we started the class, we learned that the different parts of the plant, that is the root, stem and the leaves. And we discussed the function. The root helps the plant to get water. The stem, it carries water and food for the plant. And the leaves prepare food for the plant. So what do leaves do for the plant? It prepares food for the plant. So how does it prepare food for the plant? So let's see that. So the process of making food by the leaves is called as photosynthesis. So first, the leaves need carbon dioxide and water to make food. So first, the leaves absorb carbon dioxide from the air and it releases oxygen. Here is the main function of the stomata. The stomata open and closes its pores for the exchange of gases. So the plants take in carbon dioxide from the air and it releases out oxygen. And the roots take water from the soil. And with the water and the carbon dioxide in the presence of sunlight, leaves make food for the plant. And the extra food are stored in some plants, the extra food are stored in their root, stem and in leaves. So in the last class we learned that there are plants which store their food in their root and stem. And there are plants which store their food in its leaves. Like the spinach, cabbage, lettuce, these plants store extra food in its leaves. And do you know these leaves are called as the food factory of a plant? Do you know why do we call these leaves as the food factory? Because it prepares food for the plant. So that is about the leaves. What is the main function of a leaf? It prepares food for the 
plant and we learned about the different parts of a plant. Now we can take page number 17 in your textbook and there is a small exercise. The first one, air enters a plant through. Two options are given, roots, stomata. So what is the correct answer? The air enters a plant through its stomata. Stomata are tiny pores which are present on the surface of the leaf. So the answer is stomata. See the second one. Leaf veins are found only on the top of the leaf. What is the answer? Is the leaf vein found on the top of the leaf? No. The answer is no. Coming to page number 18, you can see the picture of different leaves. So are they all looking same? No. The leaves differ in its shape and size. So what we have to do is we have to see how these leaves are used. How can we use these leaves? So the first one, what is the first picture? It's a picture of spinach. So first of all, spinach is a leaf vegetable. And we can cook and we can eat, have it as an eater. Then what about the next one? It's a picture of a tea leaf. We can dry this tea leaf. We can use the dry tea leaf or the wet tea leaf for, for preparing tea. Dry tea leaf or wet tea leaf for preparing tea. And what is the next leaf? The leaf of coconut tree. So you all are familiar with the coconut leaf. So it can be used for different things. First of all, it can be used for this coconut leaf, can be used for making brew. But there are small things can be made with this coconut leaf. Then next one is the tulasi. So first of all, tulasi plant is a medicinal plant. So do you know what, what can be used with this tulasi leaf? This tulasi leaf helps to get rid out of many health problems like cold, cough, fever, etc. So all these leaves are useful in one or the other way. So we learned today, we learned about leaves. Leaves differ in its shape and size. And what is the main function of a leaf? The leaf helps the plant to prepare food. So we learned about the three parts, that is the root, stem and the leaves. So let's meet in the next class. Till then, thank you.